welcome back to my channel or hi if you're new here my name is Emma I make videos I post every Sunday at 8 o'clock so if you're not subscribed to my channel you should go down below and do that right now also my Instagram name is in the description box below if you want to go check that out if you saw last week's video then you know that I'm getting in the Christmas spirit and doing DIYs and different things like that stay tuned for some baking and maybe even some outfit looks different things like that for the holidays but I thought I would continue with the DIY thing this week because I just had so much fun with it so actually my friend gave me this idea is to make personalized um, Christmas cards so the best way that I thought to do this was to go onto Canva which is this really cool website um, they're not sponsoring this or anything of course my cat is now rubbing his face on the camera stand what do you call this tripod I know what it's called but Yes. Anyway, so she actually gave me the idea, but the best way I know to do it is to go onto Canva, which is a really cool website, and they have um, different things that you can do. There's templates. You can basically customize whatever you want. You can use your own fonts. You can, um, you know, customize the sizes of whatever sheets of paper you're going to be printing on. You can do different things like that, and it's a lot of fun. I actually get onto Canva all the, all the time for projects, for school, and just for fun because I even make like all of my lock screens on it and things like that. Just because I'm weird. Okay, you you need to you need to stop. Okay, go go over there. Thank you. Anyway, so that is what I'm doing today. I'm going to be walking you through how I made these really cute Christmas cards that you see in the back, and you'll get to see more close-ups of them towards the end of the video. I wanted to start off by letting you guys know that Canva is a free website, but there is a premium version to it if you want to spend money on that. I'm not totally sure how much it costs a month, but if you do get it, they have different choices in fonts and images, but I just have the regular free version, so I'm only using the stuff that I have access to. I decided that I wanted this design to be a card that I could fold in half, so I put it to one side and then used a line as a guide for reference, and then I figured out where the middle would be on the front of the page so that then when I folded it, it would be right in the center. I decided to go for more of a postcard type look for this one, so I decided on what phrase I wanted to have on the front of it, and then I just printed it out as one page. I personally think it's fun not only to customize a Christmas card, but to customize it specifically for a person. So I have friends who really like the show Friends, so I decided to make this one in the same sort of font that the Friends logo is in and even write the word Friends on it, like how the title is. After I downloaded all of those individually, I started a new document on Canva and I made it 8.5 by 11, which is a standard piece of paper, and I uploaded all of the designs from before onto here so that it would be easier for me to cut. I also made them miniature because I thought that that size would be cuter than a full card. So if you like this video, if you decide to try any of these DIYs, then be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below if you're not. Also, like I said before, my Instagram name is in the description box below if you would like to go check that out. I will see you guys next Sunday at 8 o'clock. Bye!